how to download the newest firmware on the Aorus FV43U and Gigabyte M28U 4K monitors. Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. It's really simple, they both use the same OSD Sidekick software. So I'll show you where to go, how to download the bin file, and update each corresponding monitor. So the first thing is you gotta make sure you're on the correct region. I am in the US region, so I put North America, the United States. If you are in another part of the world, you can select your region from this list right here at the Gigabyte or AORS website. And again, you just look for your corresponding monitor. We're gonna do the FV43U first. Click on the page, click on support, and you can see there is the OSD Sidekick utility and the firmware of the F04. And remember, you do need to install the OSD Sidekick software in order to update your monitor. Plus the OSD software does a couple of things that I'll show you here in a bit. So let's go to the utility. Let's download the software. I do have it here on direct screen so you can see and on the monitor itself, just so you can see I am doing it and this is how you would do it exactly. I am doing this on the FE43U. Once you see how to do it, it takes about five minutes. Now remember, I did install this earlier, but I'm just showing you here. You just click on download, install it, and then you can go down and open the OSD software. Here it's gonna load up. And it shows here, and you can adjust your display settings on the monitor. You can adjust your hotkeys, the general settings, the KVM switch, and the about section is where you would update the monitor. Here you can see I already did this at F04, but it just shows you what the build date is of the OSD software and the firmware. Now you would download the corresponding firmware. Remember, in the future, F06, F07, F08, whatever they come up with, you would follow these same steps. So you can see it's downloaded to my computer already. So you can see the bin file is right there. What we gotta do is put it onto the desktop. It makes it a lot easier. This is what you gotta do, just drag and drop, super simple. And now we're going to open up the OSD software, select browse so you can find the actual firmware, hit desktop, that's where we put it on. There's the bin file, it would only read the bin file, hit OK, and there you go, it's right there ready to read. All you got to do is select update, it takes about 5 minutes and you're good to go, no issues whatsoever. Now you don't have to do this, but I personally recommend after you update any firmware on the Neo QLED TVs, on the Odyssey line of monitors, on the Aorus and on the Gigabyte M28U. What I do, I disconnect all cables and the power cord for about 15 minutes and then reconnect everything after every single firmware update. You don't have to do this, but I do it. And by me doing it, I have never had a problem with anything messing up on the monitor, which I have seen reports. If you don't do that, you might have issues. Samsung recommends this. And ever since I saw Samsung recommend to do that, I've been doing it and I haven't had any issues ever since. That is per Samsung. Again, you don't have to, just want to throw it out there that that's what I do. And I have never had an issue with a firmware update. So now that the FE43U is updated and ready to go, let me show you how to do it on the M28U from Gigabyte. So let's go here to the Gigabyte monitor support page. There's a lot of monitors. So let's just click on 4K. There you go, you can see it right there. Same thing, click on support. And remember, you do need to install the OSD Sidekick software also because that's the only way these monitors can update through the PC. As you can see here, the old F03, that's what my monitor came with, and the F07, which is the new one that you can see drastically improves their performance and reduces the input lag by 100%. You can see it on ratings.com. It's amazing and you need to download this if you have the M28U. So same thing, you install the OSD software, now we're gonna install the actual firmware as you saw, it's already downloaded to the PC. And this is a good thing to show. And if you click on the OSD software and it's not showing up, it's because the OSD software is already open in the background. So all you gotta do is go into your section here in your taskbar and you will see that it's already working. So you just select it and it'll pop up, no problems. And remember, we have to put the bin file onto the desktop. I say this because it'll make it easier for you. If you have to go searching through files, you might not be able to find it or you might get mixed up if you have a lot of files on your PC. So let's just simply do this. Let's put it on the desktop. You can see the bin files right there. Drag and drop onto your desktop. No problems. As you can see, that's the bin file. Just wanted to show you. That's what it's called. And this is the F07 one. So again, drag and drop onto your desktop. Let's open the OSD again from the taskbar since it's already opened. And if you select desktop, that's where we put it at. It shows it right there. You can't mess up. It's perfectly right there. The M28U, select that. That's what we're doing right now for this section of the video. And there you go. Hit update within five minutes. It's good to go. It updates 
do what I do, disconnect the cables for about 15 minutes, reconnect everything, and you'll have an improved version of the Gigabyte M28U that reduces the input lag drastically and gives you a better picture performance, just like the FV43U. So I hope this video did help you and show you how to download the firmware. It's really simple, you can go wrong, and if you do have any questions or issues, feel free to comment down below. I will get to it as soon as possible. I have the FE43U and the Gigabyte M28U. Super simple, no issues whatsoever. And just to note, just in case you go online and you're trying to do this and on the M28U or on the FE43U, the firmware is not showing on the corresponding support website page, Sometimes I have noticed that these companies, their servers go offline for whatever reason, maybe maintenance, maybe they're updating the firmware and the firmware is not available to download, at least for that day or a couple of days. So just check back later, but it's going to be there. And when their servers go back online, you'll be able to do this exact video to update your monitors. So friends, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on the future Aorus FV43U and Gigabyte M28U 4K monitors. I'll see you guys next time.